Brother Nine, I know you can dust this people. Brother, put your mask on. Brother, put your mask on. Dust this flying everywhere. Praise the Lord. You know, you worked on the job. I, I'm so privileged that worked on the job and I was accused, but no one could stand before God and say, I messed with him. Come on, give God some praise. Leviticus uh, 9 and verse number 24. Do you see that in your Bible? Yes. It says, And there came a fire out from the Lord and consumed the altar. It consumed up on the altar the burnt offering and the fat which when all the people saw, they did what? Shout it to on their face. Yeah. The reason we want to talk about, you know, when the fire of God falls, what do it do for you? Yeah. And the reason the fire of God is not falling on most people because they don't, they would feel, they fail to build the altar that's acceptable to God. They won't be it right. They're going to do something else. I'm telling you, I'm praying. Pray for hours, man. Turn the cell phone off. Take the other phone off. You people, that's, they can't work. They can't do nothing. You got to get to pay attention to God. Amen. Hello here. Amen. You call people, they're going to have time to talk to you. They got time to talk to kid folks. Mm -hmm. yeah. I ain't interested in what you're talking Amen. about. You're a nuisance. Huh? A friend in need of a pest when it comes to that side. Oh, you just don't pass with me. Now, I went to one lady's house. She's not here. She's dead. But my God, I go to one house one time, and she was up now with the Holy Ghost. And my God, she was in our house and going on. And praise God, I just I knocked on the door. And I heard her far when I knocked on the door. She was speaking in tongues going on. Are oh, you listening to me? Amen. Amen. Then coming to that house. But see, if you if you put them altars there and you let the fire, you wait for the fire to fall. See, let me let me just tell you something about the fire. You see, these people, what 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 happened here? It was nothing going on in America. And this little fellow named William J. Seymour, yeah. a black little one-eyed preacher, yeah. came out from Charles Corn. He was born in about 18. He was a Frenchman, actually from New Zealand. His people was poor, didn't have nothing. They didn't want blacks around. But this man be bleed Charles Porn. And he went out there, left. He came to Mississippi, got out of New Zealand, came to Mississippi, and my God, it went out there to California. Amen? Are you listening to me? Amen. Amen. My God was a little old. The uh, African method, they just let him go right in the building. But he began to pray. Let me tell you something. There's people talking about it. But God moved when there's not no big crowd and, and shouting and thinking they got something. But that little black man that wouldn't nobody take, the one-eyed man, didn't even have a poor pit. He that, that the white folks, my God, wouldn't even talk to him. My God, he was a captain, brought up down there. But let me tell you something, when he got there, and he got to moving, just a little small group of black folks, and they got to moving, do you know it began to shake the sound of the earth? That's why I'm here today. Because I know this little black man, they rejected and put down. But God had something, my God. California, they still call it a Zulu Street, a made of museum out That man, look at him. At first, you know, the white folks, they said, my God, that's colored. That was a colored, they reported. That was a bunch of little colored folks. But a, you know, with a white, uh, with a few white folks scouting in them. But let me tell you something, when stuff got to shake it and move it, this is why the Bible talks about it. But in the book of praise God, Amos, say, my God, my God, do you hear me?
Walk out there. There's one black guy. That's all these are coming across the church. That God will have did nothing. Right. You this he come, his mom and dad and them were slaves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Frenchman, Cajun, what you would call him. Mm -hmm. Right there from Louisiana, came to Mississippi, heard about it. He was a hunger. 
And see, if you don't have no hunger for this, see, it don't have no value to you. It don't have no value to you. You see, it don't have no value. You got to value what God has done. Amen. I embrace the apostles' doctrine. I don't embrace nothing else. Amen. I embrace that. Amen. Nobody can tell me different. Amen. If an angel come from heaven, he's a liar. Amen. If he wasn't, if he came from heaven, well, he'll never get back without being a liar. And I know he can't go back. Amen. Look what I'm talking about. When the fire falls, what do you do with it? It's going to change. That's right. Now watch this, what I'm telling you. Because the Bible talks about in Hebrews 12 and 29, so our God, what kind of God is it? Now I wonder why would Hebrews talk about that? Because every time that you build an altar, when the God falls, my God, that altar is right. If that altar got the right thing, you know, God is coming, because why? He can consume it. That's why it's a no flesh will grow in his sight. Because my God, look what he do. Glory. He'll take that flesh. Amen. Amen. Are you listening to me? Amen. He gonna take that flesh. Amen. If it's right. Not what you want, because see, we bring what we want on it. Amen. But no, it's got to be just like God said it, or else it ain't gonna happen. Amen. Amen. See, that's what we need to get back to it at the fire. That's why I know some people that they never fell on. Because they still like the same. I never stop burning. I keep wanting to burn. Yeah. I've been this bit of disfellowship that my people don't want to deal with you. Allow you to do everything. But my God, it ain't stop God. Yeah. See, they, they didn't want to call me to preach. Yeah. Won't pay you. Allow you to do everything. Turn your back on you. But ain't never one day you see me come to this house. My God, I don't care what happened. That my God, I can't praise the Lord. But God is bigger than that. Huh? He's bigger than that. And now that I'm so mad with the preacher, I'm down. And I'm, I'm like, what I'm coming to here for? But, but I wasn't down when he was helping me. What made you so right now? Where the fire fell and fell on you uh, under this ministry of wet? I keep my testimony well, man. You had brother half up there, but you won't tell your co-worker your testimony. You won't tell him. Do you have a good brother? He was old out. Talk, they want to put him up here. So he come talk to me. He come down. He said, well, he come out. He said, what did your pastor say? That's right. Huh? He said, what did your pastor say? He said, oh, no, no. Because I know what they're trying to do. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? He can just go off and do like other folks do. Amen. But when they get scared, they know your number then. Right. Come on, somebody. Amen. You got to make that. You understand what I'm saying? Amen. What did your pastor say? You want to put him in a position just because it don't know me, it's for me. Yes. I need to talk to somebody I know that fire, when it fall on that altar, it, that fire ain't going to fall on your altar if it ain't pleasing God. When that fire fall, that means God accepted. That means he approved the work. That means that he real. We can be praying at the house of my wife. Lord, I'm telling you right now, I say, woman, you got to get up all this stuff. What's wrong with you? You move too slow. Do you hear me good? You're younger than I am. Are you listening to me? Amen. Amen. You're younger than I am. Lose weight. My God, let's get this down. It's no excuse. Do you hear me good? I ain't coming to play with you. Amen. Are you listening to me? Amen. You tripping around. My God, I ain't tripping around. My God, do you hear me good? I want, I'm, I be on that fire. Oh, oh something yeah. is going to happen. Amen. 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 If I fall on your altar, you gonna say something. Yeah. You gonna shut You gonna go and never be ready, man. It's time not for me to be coming. Well, I'm just shy. Forget you, man. You better, my God, move out there and hold your hand. Praise the Lord.
my nails. I got to have my nails. I ain't studying about no nails. Amen. Not, not right. going to have them dirty like Brother William. <laughs> you meet him at six o'clock in the morning, he got more dirt on your friend that cut the whole finger. Oh, I know that look over there, Jay. Come on, give God some big money. Knows how to approach yourself, hey, all with his pants hanging away. You see it draw, the Bible see it draw, don't pull them off. Wrap right around his head. Yeah. Now wear him right there for a while, brother. Come on, son. <laughs> Because he was black, they wouldn't let him in the Pentecostal. Yeah. But he heard Charles Parham. Are you listening to me? Yeah. He heard him speak. Amen. Yeah. He died in 1922. Amen. Yeah. I was born in about 1872. But he died of a heart attack. But he's the one that why we're here today because he's coming on to you. Down there, he said, he said, he, he, you have got to never did a revival. Because let me tell you something, the fire didn't fall out of the body. The people here was in that upper room. They were just sitting there. Are oh, you listening to me? They were just sitting there praying. Everybody else was out there doing something, and they want to know what is this. The people that get to that. When I get in my car, I know it ain't gonna drive as I said. I know I got to turn the thing because I know it's a hot time in there. But I got to get it started. And my God, when I come to church, I'm prepared to come. This brother, I don't know what he be doing. Let me tell you something, brother. If I ride with you, you will never worry about me. You are never going to sleep. I do not go to sleep when nobody driving but Tiffany sometimes. I don't go to sleep. I'm never support you. These sorry doggone men in this church, I don't know what they are. Hmm. Do you hear me, bro? I'm not going to sleep. I'm going to have them check out this brother. He ain't got to worry about it. Huh? Young than him. Hmm? Can't do nothing. I never, my family tell you, man, when you come from, you're going to be a man or male. Huh? A man or male. I ain't going to sleep. I never go to sleep. I go on the airplane, brother. I stay on that airplane. My God, I'm going to be walked. Do you hear me do it? Are you listening to me? Because I'm studying time. It's something that I'm going to be doing with the Lord. Are you listening to me? Come on, give God some What you going to do? Hey brother, you all right? Are you okay? You are, you won't never worry about me sleep. Are you listening to me? Never done. Never done. I never done. I don't care how what's happened. I'm gonna pay. I'm, I'm, I am not gonna wake up in a ditch somewhere. Come on, somebody, give up.